What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be completely customizing my WeTech G18C both inside and out. I'm taking a stock Glock 18 and turning it into my close quarters pistol only loadout. The main upgrades I'm installing in this video are a custom paint job. I'm going to hydro dip my slide and return the outer barrel to a polished metal. Angel custom rear sight mount. This mount will allow the use of any Picatinny sight. A custom short stroke kit. I'm installing a rate of fire upgrade to increase the cycle rate. Archives complete lower assembly upgrade, a complete drop-in upgrade for any Glock 18 slide. To get started, I'm actually going to completely disassemble the slide so I can hydro dip it by itself. I am going to speed through the disassembly, but don't worry, if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to completely disassemble and reassemble your G18C slide, you can check out my video link in the description below. Once the slide has been completely disassembled, I put the slide in the outer barrel in some paint stripper for 15 minutes and then scrape off the remaining paint with a metal brush. Once all the paint has been removed, the slide and the outer barrel will have a smooth metal finish. The outer barrel is going to stay this way as I want silver showing through my hydro dipped slide, but the slide needs a base coat of white before applying the graphic. Once the base coat has been applied, I hydro dipped the Glock slide in a blue palms design that I really liked. If you're interested in hydro dipping or want to know how the process is done from start to finish, you can find my step by step guide link in the description below. I was very happy with how this dip went. I seem to be getting better every time. Now that the aesthetic upgrades are done, time to enhance the performance of this bad boy. For the Angel Custom front and rear sights, the front sight goes in as usual. As for the rear sight, installation is the same as if I was putting the original rear sights back on the slide. The straight silver outer barrel looks awesome in my opinion. Now for the rate of fire increase. Since I'm adding a lot of extra weight to my slide, the spring that guides this movement back and forth is going to be under a lot more stress than normal. To avoid this slowing down my cycle rate, I'm going to make my own short stroke kit with a stronger spring. In my hand is the standard recoil spring from the WeTech G18. I also have here a two tier return spring from the APS ACP upgrade kit. The benefit from using a two spring recoil system is that two sets of recoil springs reduce the overall tension. Less tension means less gas consumed when performing the blowback action, which in short means gas efficiency. So the two spring system is already going to short stroke my recoil because the lower spring barely has any give to it, meaning the larger spring now has a shorter amount of guide rod to travel, thus short stroking it. If you don't know what short stroking means, all it means is shortening the distance that your slide is allowed to travel backwards when performing the blowback action. This means if it travels less of a distance, it'll reset to the starting position quicker, giving you a quicker rate of fire. On top of this two-tier spring layout, I'm also going to move the end cap from the stock WeTech spring guide over to the new short stroke kit. This end cap will now add a hard stop for the larger spring moving forward, saving precious rate of fire when it counts. Here's a quick comparison of the stock spring guide against my short stroke spring guide. As you can tell, the rounds per second increased by 4, meaning the rounds per minute used to be 840, but with the short stroke kit is now 1080. For the final upgrades, I wanted to install a new trigger and an extended magwell, but I actually found a way better deal than ordering those parts alone. I'm going to install my entire slide on a brand new custom archives lower. This lower includes a salient arm style trigger, a red aluminum magwell, and all the internal parts to simply add a slide and go. Now I just need to add my flashlight and my Ace Tech Tracer unit. Thanks for checking out the video guys. I plan on using this bad boy during my next indoor game, whether I get out this weekend or the following. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay in the loop with all my airsoft content.